春はあけぼの夏は夜なべてこの世は糸をおかし塗りつぶせ枕の装置エモーショナルエンジンフルートライズwelcome back for some more fate grand order i'm normal again for now uh we have a new event and heck dang i'm excited because summer events are always quite fun we do have a new welfare servant which is good because lord knows i'm not rolling on these banners um i'm gonna save up my quartz for ones that i really want to get you know i've used up my one and that's that so, for now, let's... There it is, the Kaldia Summer Adventure. So we do have some summons. There's the Okita Summon. Okita Altar, rather. I mean, I do... I kind of want Charlotte. I kind of want Charlotte, but at the same time, I literally don't want... I mean, I, well, I mean she's cute, but actually, like, this is the only outfit of hers that I like. Um, Summer Anastasia is cute, that's fine. Nikita Soji Altar uh, Saber, I, I'm fine, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, let's see here, Angel Heart, Invincible Two Times, Sure Hit, Quick Effectiveness, Pirate Steins. I thought that was Gura for a second. It's very strange, that it's just the color scheme and everything. Definitely not. Okay. Okay, Noble Phantasmus, we'll get a chance to look at that. What about the boys? Well, thankfully, one of them we have. I don't have Achilles, but that's fine. Is that frickin' Jack Sparrow Emyashiro? Well, dang. We got the, the, the two of the four heavenly kings. And we got Mr. Draven in a car looking for chicks with uh, uh, Mechakure hair. Yes, of course, of course. Um, oh, frick! And we also get the Blackbeard one. Nice, nice. I mean, it's it's not perfect. It's not perfect. He needs to be doing his finger guns, but it's close. Also, Pokemon. You're just you're you're Pokemon. You are a Pokemon trainer. You literally have Pokeballs, which is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. You know, all these all these uh, mobile games with Geo in them. Hey, thanks for the Saint Quartz. I'm not using it. I'm not. Give me ten? Yeah, that's enough for two pulls right now. I could. But I won't. Okay. So, here we go. I'm excited. Alright, and they're time-gated. I forgot about that. I did watch the little trailer preview, the uh, the the, the commercial. I saw there was a widow widow dinosaur involved, and that's it. I know nothing really else. I didn't watch the stream because I knew it would all just be kind of explaining what's going to be going on, right? So instead, I said, let's just hop on in and go. Plus, I was working at the time. You know, that's also gets in the way. From the Journal of Leonardo da Vinci, a long, long time ago, a whole other class of animals once walked the earth. Reptiles whose bodies grew to unimaginable sizes and who underwent all manner of bizarre evolutions. These creatures came to be known as dinosaurs, which means dreadful reptiles. People have long dreamed of the ancient times in which these behemoths reigned supreme. Every now and then, one of these creatures' buried skeletons is discovered and excavated. It was funny, when I went to uh, Britain, I went to a museum there and was talking to uh, a lady, and she said, and she's like, Oh, you have such an accent. Where are you from? I'm like, I'm from, I'm from Canada. And she's like, Oh, where in Canada? I'm like, I'm from Alberta. And she's like, Alberta? Isn't that where Jamhella is, where all the dinosaurs are? I'm like, yeah, I go there all the time. She's like, oh, it's been my dream to go to Jamhella one day. And I'm like, yeah, I'm... I went there like once a year in school because it was a field trip that we would just take. And she was like, wow, amazing. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I lived my life around a lot of dinosaurs because of that. Their enormous fossilized skulls, fangs, eggs, and more evoke vivid images of the turbulent times in which they lived. 
They remind us that these creatures were once just as real and alive as we are now. And, and except they had feathers, apparently. Event quest. Opening. Hunt for the secret Caribbean treasure. Okay, looks good. Yep, looks good. Check, check, and done. Is everything ready, Da Vinci? Yep, all that's left is to induce the spirit origin changes. Is there anything I can do to help Da Vinci? Oh, thanks, Mash, but I've got it covered. You've got your own stuff to take care of, don't you? Yes, I do. But if there's something I can do to help you, I'd rather prioritize that. Ha, huh, you really are a good egg, aren't you? A good egg plant, more like it, aren't you, Mash? Thanks again. Then there's a little something I could use your help with. Oh, great! I say, are you really sure everything will be fine, Administrative Advisor? A few hours ago. I can't say it without the SpongeBob voice. It's impossible. Oh, it's another minute singularity, huh? Just what humanity needed. Uh, this latest singularity is located in the Caribbean Islands, though we have yet to pinpoint which one exactly. Uh, the time period is still a little fuzzy, but it uh, seems to be sometime during the early 18th century. I'll see if I can get a more precise reading with Trismegistus II's chronometer. The question is, what exactly is taking place on this island? Um, if we're on the Caribbean Sea, does that mean we'll be facing pirates? Oh, it's my time to shine! Yes! It's my time to shine! Oh, there, it's taken down a notch, okay? I says you're, you're maxing out audacity and on me, buddy. Calm down. It's a square. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Old Teachy just got so excited when he heard this later singularity is happening right in the prime of his life! T-T-T-Teachy? I'm trying on a new nickname. Say hello to Teachy! Mmm. It does look like Blackbeard, that is, Edward Teach, is a match for this ray shift. <laughs> Let me see who else is suited this singularity. Uh, uh, huh? What's up? D da Vinci. Yes? You are a match as well. Huh. Well, I guess this is bound to happen sooner or later. Wait. Did you say me? Are, are you quite sure about this? <laughs> Not to worry, Godolf. Just because this is I can knew what he was doing when it chose her. Of course, we take certain precautions, but she is far from the only suitable servant. She'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Sounds like you are concerned about Da Vinci going on this race shift, Godolf. Well, of course I am. A technical advisor is an absolutely crucial part of this crew. If something would happen to her on this mission... Not only would we be hopelessly lost, we would be able to zero sail our way out of this shadow border. And she can be surprisingly reckless. At least when it comes to her own signal. She nearly got killed by that Mike guy. I read about him on the notes. I would trust him. Mike. Who would name them? Mike. I could see her coming across a cannon in her path and declaring the best thing to do is just jump across it. I could hear her woohoo now as she thinks only about making it to the other side. True. Well, I do trust her to be more cautious when it comes to other people. I can't deny that she has something of an impulsive streak. She's proven as much through her own occasionally audacious actions. Sure, she's a genius, as easy as it is a forget at times. Who knows? Maybe her seemingly reckless moves are all actually carefully calculated. Mm, I see, I see. Mm, I have a wonderful idea. Oh. On an unrelated subject, Gordolf. Would you say you are a skilled, self-sufficient camper? I don't like where this is heading. Why are they always so mean to me? There we go. All changed. Are you there, Master? You are, aren't you? I'm coming in. Swimsuit. Why not if you're just going to barge in anyway? Oh, oh, you're not M.A.S.H. You're not M.A.S.H. at all. <laughs> what do you think, Master? Do I look cute, pretty, like the embodiment of all the beauty in the world? Oh, will it be, Master? Compliments or praise for my cuteness? That's not... It's not really a choice. 
<laughs> but I do look cute, right? Sure. <laughs> well, shall we head for the command room? Oh, you know, if we're going together, we may as well link arms and... Hi there, master! Huh? That sounds like... Amir, come on in. Save me. I don't want to mac on Caddock's girl. Oh, here we go. Oh, the little egg charm. That's cute. Yoo-hoo! Hello, master. What do you think of my swimsuit? I couldn't decide what worked best on my own, so... Ah. Uh, I thought that was you, Char. Oh, if it isn't the Grand Duchess... I mean, Anastasia. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm not that petty, you know. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just couldn't help myself. You're pretty fired up, too, aren't you? Yes, of course. It's not every day you get a new swimsuit, after all. I even think my angel said I should go for it. What do you know? V said something similar. Or maybe I just imagined he did. <laughs> I guess we both need a good reason to make a move. You're so short. How are you so short? Why are you down there? Alright, how do you feel about being escorted by two beauties, then? I'll take Master's right arm. Okay, then I'll take the left. You're okay with that, right, Master? Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. The only thing I see here now is... Is that strange totem pole thingy? Where did that come from? Is this one of those ninja tricks? So, uh, say, say, just stole us? Maybe I shouldn't have left them there. <laughs> Chillax, Chan Miss. We'll all be working together soon, so we gotta make the most of the time we have before we leave. Foo foo. So, what do you think of my swimsuit? You're right, it looks great on me, doesn't it? I haven't even said anything yet. <laughs> you didn't need to. That look on your face tells me everything I need to know. Ow, that hurt my back. I'm sorry. I just became a berserker this morning, and I'm still learning to control my own strength. <laughs> I guess this is the path all powerful peeps go down eventually. You know, I could be the first delinquent poet to conquer the entire nation. A poet conquered the nation? You're bold, I'll give you that. But it takes more than a little talent for the written... Wait, no, wait, no. I thought this was Blackbeard. Who is this? But it takes more than a little talent for the written word to unify the nation by force. What the... That's a face. Who said that? Show yourself. Oh! You're not really a delinquent poet, are you? You're more like a poet who just decided to become a common ruffian. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that we're all set too, Master. Hmm? Except for what, are you coming along too, Nobu? <laughs> Listen up and prepare to be amazed. You know this latest Infinity Swimsuit mission? Well, those of us down in the glorious Boiler Room group decided to send our own swimsuit servant with the party. Speaking of the boiler, is there any way we can make uh, the room next to it a little less unbearably hot this time of year? No, okay. Just thought I'd ask. Anyway, let's get right to it. Those of you too far off to see, listen up. Those of you nearby, come check out this sweet swimsuit for yourselves. Come forth, Majin Okita Soji Alternative. Hello, Master. I changed my outfit. Whoa! Piercing shriek. Oh man, you're like cuteness personified. And wow, that's one, that's a hell of a katana. Right? Rengoku's amazing. Strong, badass, and most of all adorable. Oh yeah, Devin looks really strong and badass and... Wait, ad adorable? Huh? Where did he go, Rengoku? Come on out, it's okay. I never expected to manifest in a form like this. I must have been careless. Wait, how did this even happen? My only purpose is to slay my wielder's enemies. Rengoku? That's right, this is Rengoku. Go on, Rengoku, say hello to Master. You don't have to remind me. I'm not a kid, you know. Ahem. <clears throat> my name is Rengoku. I am my wielder's sword of infinity. Say what? You're really telling me this little cutie is Alterchi's? That's tough to say. Alterchi's Rengoku? Yep. Wait, there's two of them? You, the little one, what are you doing? Explain yourself now! And watch what you say, or Okita, the original, might have your head. There's actually a really good reason for this. Allow me to explain via flashback. Hmm... Um, a flashback? I don't know, but that's really gonna throw me off. Oh 
gosh. Morning already? Let's see now. Where did I leave Rengoku? What am I? A pair of misplaced glasses? Huh? That voice. Rengoku, is that really you? I do not remember the voice I gave Rengoku. That has been a long time. And But hey, wait! That's a little girl? Really? I always thought I was a little boy. Okay. Sure. And that is the story of how Rengoku became this darling little girl. It's a wonderful surprise, isn't it? Yeah. Look, I, I appreciate that you kept the flashback brief, but that didn't explain a damn thing. It's even worse than Akita's back jetpack story. Well, no, I take it back. That was much worse. All that aside, are you, or are you a little smaller now, Akita Alter? Yes, I am. I woke up this morning only to find that I'm not as tall as I used to be. I'm seeing things from a whole new, slightly lower perspective now. I don't know how it happened, but it seems I cut out a piece of my wielder's spirit origin to make this body. That's why our spirit origin isn't quite as big as it used to be. I don't understand the specifics of how it works, but I'm basically a partition of her divine spirit power, like a divided spirit. I see. So that's why I'm not quite as strong as usual either. But that's okay. It's worth it to have you he here being so cute, Rengoku. This is not okay! You know, that reminds me, Wielder. You seem a little different now. Anyway. There you have it, Wielder's Master. I don't know how long this situation will last, but I look forward to working with you while it does. Yeah, I still have no idea how this happened, but it does look like Akita Alter is more childish. No, wait, younger? Yeah, it doesn't seem right either. Eh, ah, whatever, I'll just chalk it up to the magic of summer. Anywho, I never thought I'd see you take on a human form, Rengoku. You're like one of those, uh, y you know... That's it, a sword girl! A literal sword girl! Knock it off. Anyway, this went on way longer than I expected. Don't we need to go to the briefing, Wielder? Oh, right. We were on our way there, weren't we? It completely slipped my mind. Come on, Master. Let's go together. You too, Nagiko. Roger, Dodger! Say, Rengi, how does it feel being in that body? Do you have any hobbies? If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Which part of your body do you wash first? How many flowers would you want to receive as a gift? How many four-leaf clovers do you think you could find? Why are you asking me? Hmm, right. I guess you wouldn't know, huh? The questions are from a personality test in a book I was reading the other day. I want to receive just a single flower. And I'd like to find lots of four-leaf clovers if possible. Well, as it turns out, the number of flowers you want is the number of people you'll fall in love with, and the number of clovers is the number of people who will fall in love with you. Oh, I see. Uh, that would mean... <laughs> yeah, I guess this test is pretty accurate. You are pretty lovable, after all. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. I'd burn every flower I received. And I always found four-leaf clovers to be these natural atrocities that we just had. Wait, what? And I, I always found four-leaf clovers to be these natural atrocities that we just so happen to call clovers. What do you mean? Although, say, Nobu, are you really popular with a particular subset of fans? But she is. The hell? Cut that out. Sometimes you know too much. It's scary. Anyway, Master, I'm counting on you to look after Akita Alter and Goku this summer. I'll be counting on them to keep me safe, so... That's right, you can count on me to keep you safe, Master. And Goku will work just as hard to protect you. Yeah, I guess. Well, that's encouraging. This sword. Anyway, once we get everything sorted out over there, the rest of the boiler crew will stop by to help, too. We're gonna go to the Caribbean Sea this year, right? I don't know much about it, but I have heard the Caribbean is famous for pirates and treasure, so it's basically the Hanoji of vacation spots, right? So we want to enjoy just as much as the rest of you. We're going there for a mission, not a vacation, even though it'll basically be a vacation. Ah, come on, don't rain on my parade. Just kidding, I know the truth. You have the look of a guy who's been meticulously looking up what fun stuff to pack ever since you found out about this mission yesterday. How did you know that? Don't look into my search history! Huh? You were really looking into that? Well, damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Chanwis for you, alright? You'd think he'd be real good at keeping secrets, but nobody's actually terrible at it. Why, right, don't worry about it. You deserve to have a ton of fun out there. If you're going on a trip anyway, you might as well Hanoji it up. And don't forget, once you plunder the Caribbean's pirate treasures and trounce your sorry asses, we're gonna hold the banquet of a lifetime. Ooh, hell yeah! It's a good group so far. Unfortunately, I do not think there'll be much in the way of treasure. That There literally was treasure on the, on the status screen in the top corner. I saw it. I saw it. But why? That's simple. Yes, you'll be ray shifting the Caribbean Sea. However, it's the Caribbean Sea after the end of the Age of Pirates. But well, hello there. You all keeping your eyes hidden? Oh, hey, Bart. Ignoring his greeting. <laughs> Good day, my colorful lady. 
Now, where were we? Ah, right. Some of the places Shiba showed us were just like I remembered them when I was still alive. But I'm afraid it seems my memory isn't what it used to be. So, just when I was looking for some uh, something I could use to accurately determine this singularity's time period, wouldn't you know it? We happened to find a record of my very own death. Man, it sure didn't take long for all us pirates to die out. <laughs> now I gotcha. Yeah, I guess that means there won't be much treasure to find. Even if you did, there'd be no need to bring it back. Now, a magical energy resource like a holy grail, on the other hand. Uh, but if we're going to the Caribbean anyway, I still want to look for treasure. D da Vinci? Hey, hey, so how do I look at my swimsuit? It's cute. Yeah, it looks more like a summer outfit more than anything. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, everyone says no servant wears like a swimsuit. Other than like Corday, Corday actually wears like a swimsuit, but everyone else, it's like, no, they, they, it's just a summer outfit. I guess that's true. But hey, Summer and Caldi is all about new outfits and changing up spirit origin, so I finally wanted to give it a shot myself. And the great thing about this outfit is it's perfect for both swimming and exploring. Pretty sweet deal, huh? Right, Gordy? Hi! How in the world did I let myself get caught up with this? But anyway, what is it? I was like, just call me Gordy. You I really make that outfit work, buddy. What can I say? Only a true novel can pull off a vintage look so well. My mane's like a fine wine. This is great, Senpai. It'll be so reassuring to have Da Vinci and the director there with us. Foo foo foo. Then well, then go off. Your role on this mission will be to keep our technical advisor from running wild. Indeed. And to handle the cooking duties. Of course. I'm sorry, what? I I have to cook. Well, you're the best cook here, Director. Well, can I go with this? I'll expect the rest of you to pitch in, of course. Absolutely. I'll do everything I can to help out. And I'll cook as hard as I possibly can. I'm frankly concerned to see how excited you both are about this. All right, then. Let's begin. Well, I'm sure there'll be other servants drawn there, just as there have been with every other singularity. For now, let me introduce you to the servants who will be joining you on this ray shift. I'm Akita Alter, Guardian of the Beach. Thank you all for having me. And I'm Rengoku, my wielder's sword. Good to be here. Wait, why don't we get another one? You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that, whatever. I'm Anastasia Nikolovina Romanova, ready for anything in my darling new swimsuit. Think you'll be able to handle the heat? Oh, oh. He, was, he was like, he was like, my turn? No, no, just wait, okay, sorry. What a ridiculous question, Master. Compared to the Sub-Zero Tundra where I grew up, summer may as well be a gentle breeze. It couldn't be easier for me. I'm even willing to bet a hundred million QP that you won't even hear me say the word hot. I can't believe I'm... I can't be the only one not buying this, can I? He was trying so hard he wants his turn. Oh, me next. I'm Corday, Charlotte Corday. I don't know how helpful I'll be on this mission, but I'll do my very best. Well, this is a good-natured servant, but I do wonder how much help she'll be in battle. It's the moment you've been waiting for, Chanris. Summer Nagiko is finally here. Ah, hell yeah! Woo! Check out, check my out my new outfit too, Goffy. What's with all this jeering? Now that that's just my inner hype train popping out to say hi. I'm glad you're excited, but please tone it down a notch. Nah, come on, we're going to the Caribbean Sea this time, right? We're talking warm sun, white sand, and above all, blue ocean as far as the eye can see. Vamanos! Great. This is completely in vacation mode. Whoa, where'd that wind come from? Sorry about that. Can't believe I of all people got here late. Anyway, I'm all set to come along in my new beach digs. Don't worry, I might be wearing a new outfit, but I'm still as strong as ever. Let's do this thing. Be careful, would you? This hairstyle doesn't happen on its own, you know. My bad. This is what happens when you try to go supersonic without all the chaos numbers. No, no, I didn't mean any harm. It's okay, I'll come here later. Really? Thank you. Not at all. Oh, oh, oh the drip! <laughs> Even in the presence of squealing, giggling girls, Blackbeard was still merciful enough to give them their space. Oh, that's a very different look for you, buddy. Huh? Where's your usual outfit, Beardy? Is it laundry day? What? No, of course not. Think about it. 
If I just rolled up into the 18th century Caribbean Sea in my usual outfit, it'd cause all kinds of trouble, wouldn't it? I know it's easy to forget sometimes, but I am one of the most feared pirates to ever live, you know. Fortunately, I had an idea. All I have to do is dress in a completely different style than usual and no one will recognize me. He's trying so hard to get in. So I tried uh, for a dapper middle-aged delinquent look. What do you think? Looks great on you, bud. Boss, oh, shucks, you really think so? Man, I'm not used to compliments that aren't backhanded. Not oh. right, I think that's everyone. Not quite, we still got one more. But we do. Ah. Don't stare at me like that. And Ricardo, you really surprised me. Where have you been hiding? Well, uh, you know, the ocean, the sun, the Caribbean, it's all so bright and warm and shiny, right? Not exactly the kind of place you find downers like me doing their best work. Ah, it's fine, you're gonna love it there. I hope you're right. I could protest all he wants, but the fact that he changed his outfit shows just as excited as anyone. I trust that's everyone. All right then. Well, da Vinci. Hmm? Enjoy yourself. Well, there is, of course, much we have to learn about this latest minute singularity. I'm still confident that this summer will be one to remember. On that, you have my personal guarantee as a great detective. <laughs> you don't say. Well, that's reassuring. Now, I really can't wait to get going. Thanks, Holmes. See you when we get back. Later. Ha ha ha. One day I'll join them. Today's not that day. Let's see. Oh, that's short. Wow. Okay. Maybe I'm used to some of those summer ones that last forever, but that was a that was a super short one. That's okay. Not my favorite. I think out of the a lot of the the ones there, I like the ones that go really ham. Wow, we get you right away, huh? And you are a ruler. I like your little dinosaurs. というわけで、冷気を華麗に変えたダヴィンチちゃんだ。うん、いつもより元気そう。だって。うんうん、そうだろうとも。何しろ冒険の夏だからね。期待に胸が弾んでいるのさ。楽しい夏休みにしよう、
Because it's putting my parties at the top. Why are you doing that? I don't like it when you do that. I literally don't need that. Thank you. That should be better. Uh, there she is. Okay, there we go. Done. Instantly gotcha. <laughs> okay. Let's go. And continue. Section. Forget the books and set a course for adventure. We can't do the shop yet. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. I'll try to stick with uh, servants who are all bonused up. Is it is it meant to be a play on like I I know there's like a Doraemon movie which is all about getting a dinosaur and stuff. Is is it meant to be a play on that? I wonder. Now that I think about it, this is my third race shift. You used to it by now? I'd certainly hope so at this point. So don't worry about me. If anyone could use the help, it's our technical advisor. See how she's holding over there, holding her head. Wow. Huh, that was dizzying. <laughs> Never knew ray shifting was so much fun. You okay then? Totally. Couldn't be better. Hmm? Master, we've been cut off from Novum Kalia. I think that either our comms equipment is acting up or something is preventing us from maintaining a connection. Well, I guess it means we'll be acting on our own then. Nothing we haven't done plenty of times before. More importantly, just look at the beautiful view. Does she have stars in her pupils? I'm just noticing. The blue sea, white sands, and pirates. Pirates. Kids are not, we ain't gonna show you no mercy. We are no mercy. Just because Bartolo and me Roberts is dead doesn't mean the Age of Pirates is over. We're the small time pirates and we're gonna reclaim the golden Age of Pirates ourselves. With a game like that, I don't see you all getting that far. Me neither. How oh, dare you, the truth hurts, you know. Oh, this is my cue, isn't it? I can take care of this, right? I don't think you should go out too far ahead, Da Vinci. <laughs> it's okay, I feel great. Besides, it's the perfect chance to try my new weapons. Ready when you are, Tanner. Oh, got him. Let's get him. Just, I'll try not to hurt them too badly, all right? They're just human. They're just normal men. They're just innocent men. Support only. Oh, you're gonna make me use her. Cool. Works for me. Hey, <laughs> that's fine. I want to see what she does anyways. So, let's pop on this so just so we can make sure we see her NP. We got... Oh, is, it, oh, is this... The, it, this is the one that people say is like the best now for uh, art sloopers, right? When it's maxed out. Oh, frick. But I don't know if I'll be getting that. Is that, a, is that a free one or is that one that I get from... I don't think that's a summoning one. I think I'll get it. Okay. Interesting. Apparently, this summer has also never received a rerun. Interesting. Honestly, if I don't get the summer servants, it's not that. It's not that big a deal in my eyes. Look at all them! I don't even know what that did. Release Noble Phantasm, it says. I mean, I will. What did you do? After two turns, increase your gain and become unable to use Quicken Arts. Weird. Okay, it's just saying that you want me to use it for sure. Okay, and that dude probably has unlimited guts. Okay, well, let's just use it then. Those are good animations. Those are pretty good. All right. Let's go. Let's just see here. What do we got? We got... Increase your stuff for you. Okay, and this does just increase the gauge and gain. I don't know how much. Increase strength and increase charge by one for all allies. Nice, that's good too. That's not bad. She is a good little kit. Dinosaur goodbye summer. Is that attack everyone per chance? Um, to a single enemy. Okay, well let's just... Let's just murder this guy then. And it's Buster, okay. Let's see. Okay, 
り未知への突貫ダイナソーサバーグッドバイトリケラトプス Oh, it's going to be completely different for each one. Interesting. The bullets are. The bullets are them. Interesting. The bullets are the dinosaurs. This is like Dinosaur King. Dinosaur King is what I want to be. Yeah, make your move. Come on and make your move. Heck yeah. Didn't expect her to be her own type of Pokemon trainer. Cool. Really? Sure, okay. Don't know if it's gonna be hard or easy, or they're gonna say, like, hey, did you beat did you beat the game? We'll do a harder one for you. I don't know. No! Our dream was out of reach. And that went great. Thanks for helping me out, guys. You're welcome. Damn it all! You might have beaten us, but we haven't seen the last of pirates like us. This here's the hottest spot of the Caribbean right now. It, it is? Why is that? <laughs> you think I never told you? Well, you're right. I'm always kind to nice, quiet girls. <laughs> See, Chanmas, you made the right call bringing me along. Shut up, you. Everything about you screams loud. <laughs> Bring it on, punk-ass pirate. He's not wrong. You're a berserker. Um, so why is this place the hottest spot in the Caribbean right now? You'll never believe it! They say somewhere in these seas a great handsome pirate buried the ultimate treasure. It is so funny that today Netflix's One Piece came out, and I watched episode one with a friend, and it was outstanding. So like, yeah, no, that's cool. That's really good. What good timing. A bobble that can grant any wish you like. A bobble that can grant any wish? That sounds like... If you want to know more, you'll have to head to the town. All right, I'd rest me off then. I don't know if you're going to look for the treasure yourselves, but if you do, best of luck. I'll be watching out for you. Hoity toity, there I go. Though should I go after him? I can cut him off pretty easily. Oh, damn straight. No one can escape the great demon king Achilles. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's okay, thanks. No need for that. Let's take him advice and visit the town he mentioned. Got it. Well, what should we do now, Master? Well, for the time being, let's figure out what we, who, who should do what. Good idea. Men will teach you this land well, so you should be the best choice for gathering information about it. Well, all right. Wait, you went by myself, uh, alone? Uh, don't you know rabbits die if you leave them all alone? Oh, that's actually not true. It's just an urban legend. I looked it up. Oh, I see. Why? Uh, I, th I thought I, I, th I, th I thought I could make for a killer catchphrase in certain circumstances. You're more a predator than rabbit, aren't you? You better watch out, Mash. Huh? Well, yes, rabbits are very cute and should be taken care of. <laughs> she doesn't get it. Nagaka, would you mind going with Blackbeard? No problem. <laughs> Once the pirates get a load of these bewitching summer beauty. <laughs> They'll be begging to tell us everything they know, right, Beardy? Oh, uh, sure. That's all we gotta say. Bash, our technical advisor and I, uh, will set up base camp. I don't think we'll be finding this treasure before the day is out. Setting up camp, huh? Mm, sounds like a plan. Then I'll take a couple laps around the island see if there's anything suspicious anywhere. That seems like a perfect job for you. Oh, 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 oh. If possible, I'd like to explore this island, too. I guess you're coming with me, then. I'll come with you, Wielder. Why don't Charlotte and I look for food, then? Works for me. Besides, there are a bunch of other things we should take care of sooner rather than later, too. Um... What's up, Mandricardo? Oh, come to think of it, aren't you an adventurer too, Mandricardo? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, technically, anyway. So I ought to at least be able to help out with gathering food. Well, gathering herbs and medicine is the first step every adventurer must take. That's just as true IRL as it is in web comics. Yeah, right. Web comics? Oh, that's cringe even for me, bro. It looks like everyone has a job then. Director Gordolf to Vinch now will set up our base camp. Achilles, Akita Alter, and Rengoku will explore the island. Blackbeard and Nagiko will gather information. And Anastasia, Charlotte, and Mandricardo will look for food. That just leaves you, Master. What will you do? 
Well, since there are four tasks in total, the most sensible thing would be for you to help with two of them. You could stay here to help with the base camp and food procurement, or you could go exploring and gather information. Which would it be, Tatter? Um, I want to go hang out with the, our, well, explore and gather info, or help. I mean, fr food procurement, you know what? I think I'd go with the food procurement, because I want to, I want to hang out, well, I want to do battles that show me their new, you know, new animations. That puts you with our group, then. Thank you for helping us, Master. Kind of cool you get your choice of one or the other. Um, seems like a good spot to pitch the tents. Right, I'll give it everything I've got. Well, I'm noted for that, all right. I mean, you are demi servant, so if you give it everything you've got, then, but I'm concerned we might end up um, breaking the tents. Oh, right. Then I'll just get half of what I've got. Gordy. Damn it! Now I feel guilty! What are your orders, Camp Director? Stop that! Last thing I need is a new job title. Oh, I, I froze up for a second there. All right, this tent's entrance should face, um, this way. Man says we're going to put up another tent not too far away. Uh, we can put our bags down here to make them up, you know, like, a, like a border of sorts. I love Animal Crossing so much, you see. Well, this way we can avoid accidentally put the tents too close together and being forced to repitch them. Oh, and not hit the grounds too loose. It'll get flooded if it rains. We'll have to move this tent somewhere else. Wow, you really know your stuff, Gordy. I'm glad you're here. What should we do about the campfire, boss? It's a little early for that. All right, it certainly won't hurt to make one now. Campfire? I was just going to make one with Magecraft. Yes, well, that would certainly be easy, of course. Even I could do that if I was so inclined. But I don't believe using Magecraft on a simple campfire would be an efficient use of our resources. No, I think our magical energy would be better spent on things like a bounded field with built-in insect repellent or a shade spell to keep the, uh, the light. Do you know? Do you now, rather? <laughs> because it sounds to me like you just really want to make a campfire by hand because it's fun. But I never said it wasn't. I was burning it out like that really necessary. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Okay, Master, let's get to work in the campfire. <laughs> Usually, Robin or Geronimo takes care of it in no time, so it'll be fun making one ourselves. You said it. You know what? I think I'll join you guys. All right. I'll let you three take care of it then. Just let me know if anything comes up. He's in his element. He's actually having so much fun. Um, the first thing we need is some proper tinder. Um, which means that we're going to need to do a lot of swiping to the right. Sorry, that's grinder. So, we can't just set up a bunch of wood on a fire and call it a day, huh? That's right. If you just do that, the fire won't last long at all. We have to find some good, um... Kindling? That's it. You really studied hard for this, didn't you? Yes, I did. Robin and Jermon... One more time. Yes, I did. Robin and Geronimo were both great teachers. Okay then, Mash. You tell us what to do, and we'll get it done. Yeah. Oh no, it went out again. I'm not giving up yet. Let's try one more time. You better hurry up, or we'll end up falling back on Magecraft. Cease your temptations, foul demon. <laughs> we'll get it this time. I'll go get some twigs for kindling. You just make like a little teepee, or make a little house out of the, the heavy wood, and then you fill that with the kindling, and papers, and any other small leaves and stuff, and it, it goes up done it before. I was a cub scout. That is, that's a fire. It's going, we did it. Hooray. All right. Bon, you finally got the fire going, did you? Yes, sir. Our campfire is officially lit. Very good. Then our next order of business is to finish pitching the tents. Remember, there's still plenty of work left to do. Yes, sir. Oh, look at her. That's... This is a nice little place. They got a freaking bed in there. All right, that should do it. Wow, this all looks amazing. It's exactly what I think of when I hear camp. What a huge tent. I think we'll be right at home. I'm impressed, Gordy. I would have thought you'd demand all the servants use their spirit forms instead of tents. 
But I'd like to believe me, but I'm also well aware they're not the type to listen even if I did. Besides, even if there's no telling what can happen in Singularity, it's probably better they stay in their physical forms. But all that aside, it sounds like Gordy is stuck, hasn't it? I'll start unpacking. I should probably go help with the food procurement now. Good idea, Master. Don't worry, we have everything under control here. See you later, just be careful out there, okay? But make sure you head back before it gets too late. Yes, Dad. What's up, Master? Looks like we won't have a problem getting the food we need. Oh, yes. We've already found chickens, though they're very big. And boars, also very big. Then fruit. Lots and lots of fruit. All right, then. Shall we uh, get to it? Let's! Right on. We get to see some new animations. Ah, up to three servants can be selected. Cool. I'm going to put on you. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put on... Because we'll get a chance to check out Mandricardo later. That's that's not an issue. Um, then let's go... I know I said I'd, I'd do the Summer Servants, but I just want to see what their animations are. So let's just start with that. Um, and then otherwise, let's see here. Event bonus. Well, we want to get you some bond points, so we'll put you in. Um... We'll just give you... Sure. Whomst else? Koyanskaya? Why do you... Why are you on bonus? That's just strange. Let's just go by class to see who they all are. Okay, so we got... Okay, summer, 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 summer. Interesting. You're not. Summer, 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 not, pirate, 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 summer, 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 strange, summer, 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 kind of, yeah, you're, you're summer, 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 okay. Just a few strange ones. Okay, let's go by Bond. Let's see here. You, okay, are, are, is your Bond level automatic? No, it's... it's We can actually actually get Bond up with you. That's cool. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm just... This is... It's not even going to really matter anyways. Let's just... Uh, sure, why not? Let's get on. Bond up. Let's go this one. Okay. All right. Let's see these new animations. And then after that, we will uh, do some stuff. Let's just throw this on to get some points on it. All right. Let's go. music so far has been thematically appropriate but I don't love it. The best way to describe it is like, yeah, it fits. It fits, but it's not something I'd listen to. You know? Um, let's just start by getting as much meter as I can because I want to see your guys' animations. What? Oh, it's the, the game. Yeah. She did the, the, the summer game. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay. Well, we can check your full animation here. Let's go. What do you do? Do your stuff. Let's see here. That's okay. Knives. All right, isn't she like magician based? Okay. Okay. I. It's kind of cute, but I don't know. I don't love it. I'm going to be honest. I, I kind of wanted to summon her before, but now I'm like, that's okay. It's whatever. It's not the best. It's fine. 
Um, okay, we won't be getting a full combo with you. So that's fine, we'll just do some random animations. Snowball, cute. Yo, Jojo! That animation is really good. I really like that. That's that's a unique way of doing a summer attack animation. Um, let's go one, two, three. Ah, oh, Melon! That's fun! Yeah, Anastasia's animations are way better. Okay, we got Wyverns. Um, I don't have a full combo. What I can do is I can go... Do you have me meter gain? Increase your gauge? How much? Oh, that's scary. That's a lot, actually. I'm gonna pop this. Uh, is this gain... Oh, you can give it to someone. Not bad. That's a lot. Uh, let's see here. Apply confusion that has a chance to skill seal and evade to all allies. That's actually really good. Wow, that's actually kind of great. Her skills are kind of awesome, actually. What do you have? Invincible, buff resist, and sea stars? Not bad. Sure hits, and a bunch of stuff in noble... Okay, sure. Sure, why not? Let's give that a shot. Let's go... Snegletto, Snegorochka, and Le Ferry de Nuit. The Night Fairy? The fe 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 the fairy of the fairy the fairy of a night. Cause de un means like cause un is like a. Uh. Cause if it was just de nuit, it would be of like of night. But this is de of a night. And why is it un? Is nu nuit isn't feminine, is it? I don't think it is, because you use une for feminine, but I don't know. I don't know. Voila! La ferie de une... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm, this I have nothing to say about. Um, so which one is attack all? Single enemy and single enemy. Good. Okay, that's fine. Let's go... You know what? Let's go one, two, three. Okay, let's see here. What do we got for these? Show me your animations. Show me what you do. さあ、B の奇跡を見せてあげる。夏でも形、冬でも愛し、全てが判定して。Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's okay. What's yours? Whoa! A little bit of more. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's really cute. I like that. Her glasses there. That's adorable. That's really cute. Uh, the rest, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm actually a little disappointed in their noble phantasms. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I, I expected. I expected something a bit more. Oh, the spitting up the seeds. Yeah, I, I think Anastasia's attack animations are incredible, though. Those are really good. Nice. Ooh, we got a bunch of chests. Look at that. So from what I hear, this is a quest where it's like, this is a, um, this like, the, 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 the entire summer, like, event is basically like, um, another lottery. And we're going to be grinding, which is fun, because I like that. Not that I can really do it now that I work, but I'll try my best. Okay, we're all done. Now we just gotta dress the meat. Oh, I can do that. Alright, in the meantime... You and I can go pick fruit. <laughs> Come on, Master, let's go. Thanks for taking care of the meat, you two. Bye! Hmm? Uh, hey, Mandricardo? Yeah? I feel like I just got... No, outplayed. 
Yeah, you sure did. That was a brutally effective and blindingly fast preemptive strike. I'm honestly kind of impressed. Uh, do you want to go after them? I can handle things here on my own. No, that's okay. I still have a job to do. And no responsible person would bail on their job, no matter the reason. Got it. In that case, let's uh, take care of this quickly and go catch up on to them. Sounds good. Now, what are some good Caribbean fruits? Probably mangoes and papayas, wouldn't you say? Master, look! Are those apples? <laughs> what luck. I can't believe we found an apple tree out here. They don't look very ripe, though. They're all tiny and green. Still, I'm sure they're edible. Come on, let's pick some. <laughs> Finders keepers, right? So I'm gonna have the first one. Well, if you're sure... Down the hatch! Is something wrong? I learned a very important lesson today, Master. Eating wild fruit without consulting an expert is dangerous. Also, these aren't apples. In fact, they're very dangerous and you should get away from them now. They're poisonous! They're poisonous! It's a good thing I'm a servant. That could have been really, really bad. Never mind these apples. They're no good at all. Let, come on, let's look for other kinds of fruit. Also, I'm never eating things unless I'm 100% sure they're safe ever again. Damn it. I <laughs> like when she says damn it. I uh, see. Uh, that sounds like a mansion eel tree. A mansion eel? <laughs> I didn't know eels could ho o own real estate. <laughs> it had tiny green looking apple growths. Uh, uh, tiny green apple looking things growing on it, right? They were probably mansion eels then. What are mansion eels like? Are they good? Oh, they're not food. They're just poison. Pure poison, through and through. In fact, I'm pretty sure mansion eel trees are one of the most dangerous plants in the world. Okay, I'm Googling this. Is this real? I've never heard of this. You're just saying things to me. Manchineal. I spelt that very wrong. It typed in Maxwell, apparently. Manchineal. Yep, those are tiny apples. Manchineal tree, the deadliest tree on Earth. Oh. Interesting. That's what it says. Why Manchineal might be the world's deadliest tree. The Manchineal... Uh, is from the Spanish man, uh, manzanilla, which is little apple. It's also called the beach apple. A present-day Spanish name is manzanilla de la muerte, the little apple of death. Manzanilla is one of the most toxic trees in the world. Dang! It's an endangered species in Florida. That explains a lot what's going on in Florida. Huh, interesting. Culture... Yeah, oh, fate isn't on here yet. I gotta add it in the culture section. We'll get there one day. That's on Wikipedia, of course. Uh, legends say people who take shelter from the rain under mansional trees get horrible blisters under their skin. Really? Just from standing under it? Apparently. Rainwater mixes with the tree's sap and turns toxic. Yikes. <laughs> I'm seriously starting to cons er, consider turning the whole Caribbean sea into a world of permafrost. Be careful, Char. Whatever you do, don't eat any strange fruit you come across. Check with an expert first to make sure it's safe. You're right. There's really no telling what wild food is. Fruit is there. I'll be careful, Anastasia. I won't let your noble sacrifice be in vain. Still very much alive, thank you. At least those other fruits look safe to eat. Okay, I'm gonna bring these back to camp then. Oh, I'll go with you. Please do. I need to take a little break anyway. Oof. Got it. Here, maybe some water will help. Thanks. This water is safe to drink, right? Oh boy, she's been really burned bad, uh, figuratively speaking. I love summer events. They're so silly and fun. Oh, Master, on a different subject. Uh-huh. Does this swimsuit look good on me? Yeah, defs, for faux show. And would you mind showering me in compliments? Nothing would make me happier. Hang on, just give me a sec. I'm just kidding. I would never do something as uncouth as to demand compliments that weren't freely given. The best compliments are those given without prompting. Anyway, let's be on our way, Master. Interesting. I never would have thought to try that approach. Probably because it's so far out of your wheelhouse that you need a team of Sherpas to just begin looking for it, but I'll keep that thought to myself. 
Hopefully she ends up looking back and all this is just a fun summer memory. Hello, Earth Man Ricardo? Come on, let's go already. Oh, right. C coming. So, here's what we found out. We drank a ton. It was crazy! I hope that's not all you did. Don't worry, boss man. We got the info we were looking for, too. Let's start with what we learned about the pirate treasures and flashback. Edward Teach, Bartholomew Roberts, Benjamin Hornigold, John Rackham, and William Kidd. These were the pirates who defined the golden age of piracy. Of course, there are countless legends of other lowlifes who commanded ships of their own as well, but it is clear that Bartholomew Roberts' death marked the end of the Golden Age. Before they hung him from the gallows, he said, My fortune is yours for the taking, but you have to find it first. I let it all behind the eyes of a woman who is, has the hair covering her eyes. That is where it is hidden. All that, all that remained in his wake was a gentle decline to a reverency. Or so we thought. But recently, Rumors have begun to spread throughout pirate society. Rumors of seven secret treasures hidden somewhere among the Caribbean islands by the greatest pirates of all time. Mountains of doubloons so great you could never spend them all. Oceans of, uh, I can't read it, oceans of precious jewels, cutting edge weapons and ammunition, legendary and demonic and sacred swords. Pirates around the seven seas have all pinned, pine, pin, pinned? And have pinned all their hopes on these treasures, all to usher in an entirely new age of piracy. This is all one piece. Let's go! I see. We're doing one piece this season. All right. It's creative and well-timed, I guess. Seven secret treasures left by famous pirates, huh? That does sound intriguing, but at this point, I can't say whether they're the cause of this minute singularity. Well, be that as it may, they're still only really me at the moment. That's true. Okay, let's try looking for them ourselves. Uh, can I see that map, Blackbeard? Sure, sure thing. Huh. I must say, this is a much more detailed map than I was expecting. Yep, all the place names are labeled and matches the island's northeast terrain exactly. There's even a cave mark there, and it looks like exactly where we need to go. Only thing is, the pirate who gave us this map said something weird about it. Uh, we weird how? She said her gang looked everywhere for this cave, but couldn't find any hint of it. Sounds like the map is probably wrong then. Yeah, but if it is, then we have no leads and we're back to square one. What do you think we should do, Master? Eh, so we're checking out. Understood. Then I'll go with you, Master. Me too. Me three. Me four. Yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah, bring it on. Now, now, not so fast. You can't go and leave me to watch the cab on my own. Yeah, I guess that's true. And how about this? We can decide who goes with Tanner and Mash with our good old-fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors. That'll keep things nice, simple, and fair. <laughs> All but invincible. You mean we're not gonna fight for it? I have no interest in fighting a battle whose outcome is a foregone conclusion, and I promise you V doesn't either. Yeah, that wouldn't be fair at all. All right, whatever you say, but be warned. I'm real good at rock, paper, scissors, too. Okay, so the three of us stay behind you. Well, that ought to be enough. All right, here goes rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Let's see who goes where. Looks like I'm staying behind. I totally lost. Me too. Oh, well, I guess helping Mr. Gordolf out isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, then, Gordy, see you later. Very good. Just watch your step out there, you hear? Will do. Bye, Director. We'll be back soon. Can't wait to see what you made for dinner. Don't worry. It should be ready by the time we get back. Now get out there and explore the singularity. I'm having the time of my life. I miss this so much. <laughs> it's like having a family. And a dad who's not a Nazi. That was weird. Why was he doing that? Look at all these pirate chests. Pirates of the Jungle. I like the art, the like the art style. Who's who's the artist for this? Uh, Okada and Mitsu. What art have they done? I like it. It has good colors. Okada and Mitsu. What have they done? 
Um, this and Unwithering Flower, which I don't have. That's nice art, though. Yeah. Yeah, what up they, um... T. Okada, otherwise. I like their, yeah, their designs are kind of great. I'm just looking here on their, their, their Danburu. I'm seeing some horse girls. I'm seeing some VTubers. I'm seeing some art of uh, the, the exact um, craft essence they did. Is that a changing? Nope, that's not uh, a Kiha. Yeah, they've done a lot of really nice art. I really like their art style. Hot dang. That's really nice art. Give it a look if you haven't seen it. It's uh, it's It's real nice. I could show you, but I'm like way too afraid of opening up like Pixiv on, uh, you know, stream. I think that would result in bad things occurring, so I won't. Uh, but otherwise, uh, let us return. Cool, cool, cool. Base camp, Caribbean city. Okay. Oh, there's more? Cool. We got free quests coming. Okay, I didn't know that we'd actually have, like, time to keep going. I thought that'd be the end. I thought we'd hit a time gate. But no, let's go. I'm very happy we are. We will get another Servant Fest one, though. Oh, that's cool! That's amazing! I love that loading screen. I hope we get more custom loading screens. Why are we at the factory? Who the f- what? I literally can't- don't know what this is meant to be. Mm, 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 mm. Go on, say something. Me? Yeah, you. You're my aide and tactician, right? So go on, make yourself useful. I'm afraid that's easier said than done. While I certainly agree I'm well suited to serving as aid and tactician, I'm also something of a malevolent austere servant. I'm hardly so fast to start slinging gags. Why, the very idea is as preposterous as pigs flying. Ah, don't worry about that. You have much better gag potential than you realize. Anyway, how are our soldiers coming along? Are they done yet? Naturally. Why, just see for yourself how daring and dashing they are. How unbelievably astounding. Oh... I am a pirate. I am, I am. Are they supposed to talk like that? Oops, my apologies. Let me just tweak this and adjust that. Ah, uh, fa 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 fa. Do re mi fa so latido. Not that way, the other way. Oh my, this won't do it all. Let me just put a few of these knobs back in place and. <laughs> what do you think? Eh, it'll do. Alright then. Mass-produced Columbus's move out. Oh, that's that's scary. Don't like that. Mm, how? <gasps> I think I know who this is. I think I know who it is. Mm, how lovely. How magnificent. By some definition of the word, how strange. I know who this is. Oh, I know exactly who it is. I was like, I can't tell the silhouette, but I know exactly who this is now. I heard that. But honestly, I'm finding myself a little creeped out by these things, too. <laughs> may that as it may, we can finally begin our efforts to plunder the secret pirate treasures in earnest. Mm. Buddy, calm down. Huh, we should be coming up on the cave pretty soon, but... Yeah, I don't see anything that looks like a cave around here. I'm getting tired, Master. Would you mind carrying me for a while? I... <laughs> There's no winning this one. There's no winning this 50-50. I don't know, how heavy are you? Very light, thank you very much. Now shut up before I make you an ice into an ice sculpture. I'm not heavy at all. In fact, I'm feeling lighter now that I've slimmed down by sharing my spirit origin with Rengoku. Right, Rengoku? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, why are you being so quiet, Rengoku? Are you sleepy or something? No. Hmm? Hey, Tanner, Mash, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, sure, what is it? Everything all right? Have you two noticed anything unnatural about this place? I don't think so. Like what? Like here. 
Ajá. ¿Qué? Buah. Wow. Wow. Y. Fu. A hole. Oh no, master. Here, give me your hand. You all saw them just fall into a hole in the air too, right? Yes, but to where? Master just stuck his head into an empty space and they all got sucked in out of nowhere. They were under attack. V perimeter scan now. I don't think it's just that. An enemy would have probably just tried to attack us instead of whatever that was. Besides, Master wasn't the only one that fell in. Da Vinci and Mash are there with him. I'm sure they'll figure something out. I hope you're right. What do you think, Rengoku? It was just for a moment, but I sensed magical energy coming from that dark hole. Magical energy? I would explain why the pirates couldn't find it no matter how hard they looked. That door that those three just fell through probably only opened because it reacted to one of them. What do you mean? I'm guessing it was the entrance to where one of those secret pirate treasures is kept. Whatever it was, it's gotta be somewhere underneath us, yeah? And we gotta look everywhere, we go, we're, we've gotta look everywhere until we find it. Are we not going to address how he has a Tarrasque? No? Okay. Master. Thanks, Mash. Don't let go. Of course, Senpai. I'm just glad you're alright. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in your personal space, aren't I? <laughs> oh, right. right. Uh, da Vinci? Fu, are you two okay? Fu! Oh, good. I'm glad to see you're safe and sound, Fu. You're used to being just jostled around. I found Da Vinci too. Oof. I'm fine too. <laughs> Man, that was a hell of a surprise, wasn't it? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, sure. Watching over you guys' adventures from a distance is great and all, but there really isn't anything quite like experiencing one firsthand. Things can change at a moment's notice. You never know what might happen next. I mean, who would have guessed we'd all end up tumbling into a hole in midair of all things? Oh, this is so much fun, I can't wait to see what we run into next. Don't, don't run off on your own, okay? It could be dangerous here, even if you do resist like every class. <laughs> Thanks, Tanner. Appreciate your concern. Okay, then, let's all go together. Looks like a pretty straight shot from here anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if it took us uh, right into one of these secret pirate treasures. I wonder why the pirates couldn't find this cave. Huh, good question. It doesn't look like a natural cavern or a man-made path. If anything, it feels like it's made out of magical energy. Maybe react to your magical energy then? Where did Tanner's? He does have command spells after all. Foo foo! Then maybe we'll be able to find the pirate treasure too. Hell yeah! Now come on, this cave's not gonna spelunk itself. Oh, drip? It's fairly cool in here, isn't it? You okay, Mash? Oh, yes, I'm fine. What about you, Master? You're not cold, are you? Nope, I'm totally fine. We might be near the ocean or a river, or maybe there's an underground stream flowing nearby. Either way, there's still only one path forward, at least for now. I wonder if we'll really find the pirate treasure at the end of it. Ooh, looks like we got a low-quality roar to deal with. Yay! Maybe they just summon demonic beasts or local phantasmals? Either way, I'm definitely not going to let them stop us now. Alright, sounds good to me. Time for another... Another one. Oh, the custom loading screen is so fun. I hope they will keep doing that. That's fun. I like it. It's great. Does anyone have the new servants? Any of them? Probably not. Probably not. Let's go. Let's see. Anyone new for me to find? Let's see does not look like it. Then again, who's playing this as quick and early as I am? Probably nobody, considering it's like super midnight for them. I don't think I've seen you in your final outfit. Let's go with you. Why not? Uh, Da Vinci? So we'll go with... Ooh. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Uh, I have all these teams now. I think my Buster Loop team is not really set up for it anymore, so we'll just we'll switch this for now. Um, okay, so. Dominky. Let's 
for other servants here again. We'll just stick with other ones that I want to level up. Might as well focus on the ones closest to actually leveling up. Oh, we are way over now, huh? Then we'll go. Mash. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are over. Um, It's fine. If I just take that off, we should be good. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Cool. Sick. This can be exchanged, though, for... Actually, his yours is red, so we'll go with that on you. And then we'll go... I guess we can throw this on. Wait, individual effects? What do you mean? Oh, cool. Interesting. That's new. Neat. Actually, if we put that on... No, we can't afford it at 12. That's okay. That's fine. Let's go. What are we dealing with? I hope we get more and more custom loading screens as the future goes on. It's just easier. What the frick? Street Sharks? Really? Did not expect the Street Sharks to make an appearance of all things. Look at them, they're trying their best. Speaking of Gura. Da Vinci's combat style is actually so cool. I love it. Just choosing the powerful stuff. I'm so happy I have you. Okay, so I'll just go one, two, three, get some meter with you. She does get a rank up in the future. That's apparently really, really good. I looked into it. It looks real nice to have. Okay. Um, do you have any for gain meter? I don't think you do. I think yours is just over time, right? Yeah. And yours is just gain effectiveness. Okay, let's just go one, two, three for now. All right, let's see if we can get the other animation there. Shark spin. Let's just go one, two, three. All right, are we going to get the other one? Which one are we getting this time? Blue? Futabasaurus? Is that actually what it's called? Huh. We've seen that before, so I, I just didn't have much to say. Other than some of those names are ones that we now, you know, know a bit more of. Just a bit more. Okay, yeah, what are these? Looks like something's great is inside. This will be fun to do some, some mat grinding on this one. Foo! <laughs> so those were on the weirder end of enemies we fought, weren't they? I... I think I'd rather just go ahead and say that those were figments of our imagination. I'm sorry, Da Vinci, you must confront the street sharks. It's impossible to not.
Archer, sure. Let's go. Wow, way more spacious in here, huh? I see light over there. Could that be the exit? But there doesn't seem to be anything here. Foo foo! Huh? Foo foo! Maybe he found something? Foo, come back! You can't be part of the plot. You're just a little guy. Foo foo! This way, huh? Hey, what's up? Looks like he found something. Is that. <gasps> Egg. An egg. Yep, it sure is. Da Vinci, you will give me an egg. I wonder what kind of egg it is. Can you tell Da Vinci? Hmm. Ostrich, maybe? No, it's too big for that. Man, what could it be? Foo foo! Stop that foo if you poke the egg too hard. Oh, frick, the chow's gonna have a bad face. I think it's gonna crack. Oh, it's viable. It looks like it's ready to hatch, too. Which probably means one of its parents is around here somewhere. It's a huge demonic beast, Master. Maybe it's the parent? I doubt it. That sounds like a serpentine demonic beast to me. And this definitely isn't a snake egg. Either way, we're gonna have to fight our way out of this one. Alright, let's go. Alright. Schneck. Time to roast some schneck. It's just like, I, I, I'm i so used to that not being the symbol after like hours and hours and hours of playing this game that now that it's there, I'm just like, what the frick? It's so weird. I'm not used to it. Do we have any good Lancer here this summer? Summer Lancer? Sure, we'll go with you. Okay. Sounds good. It's going to pop on to... Uh, Keep leveling this up while we're here. It's close enough to the summer outfit. This is gonna be a Hydra, right? Just one, one, one big old Hydra. Yeah. Remember Vritra? She just kind of appeared and, like, never came back. Uh, let's see here. You have Divine, increase your gauge. Let's just do, just, just, well, we have a full combo with you. Let's just pop this on you first. And we'll just go one, two, three. Okay, so we can go, let's just see, buff immune is kind of stinky, pop that on you, that could go, okay, and let's just go one, let's do some of these, get some of these with you. Okay, that's nearly it. Intimidation. You can still gain meter though, right? I think you can. Increase your gauge each turn. Not enough. That's fine. Bye. GGZ. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna look at you because, you know, you are not my type of cup of tea, personally. The hostile demonic beast has vanished. Who? Hmm. What could this egg be? Is it from a bird? Maybe a reptile? Hmm. It's cracking. Oh gosh, it's gonna hatch. Oh no. So, amazing genius though I may be, it'll, it'll, I'll admit that I was a little bit off in my predictions this time. 
My best guess is that this egg belonged to either a bird, a large reptile, or an ovi... oviparius. Well, ovi means egg, so I guess that means egg laying. An oviparius phantasmal. As great as any of those would have been, none would have been a surprise. Or so I thought. Up until that moment, I had no idea just how ridiculous singularities could be. Or what kinds of truly unbelievable things they could possibly make. That's kind of cute. Huh? True? Huh? I'm the baby, God love me! Whoa! Every now and then, life hits you with something you never saw coming. At times, the world has seen rainfalls no one could ever imagine, like the time it rained frogs instead of water, that's true. Ma as you many documented cases of that. So while it was miraculous to see a dinosaur hatch from the egg we found, it wasn't completely unbelievable. Or at least that's what I've been telling myself. Yeah, no, it still doesn't quite make sense. It's okay, it frozen amber something. It's, it's science. Jurassic Park doesn't have to be real to be enjoyable. Anyone who's like, oh, Jurassic Park couldn't happen, so it's not cool. They're lame. They're lame. Just enjoy a movie, you brick. Cinema Sins has ruined society. We made it back to the service, Master. Well, let's go find the others and show them this gosh dang dinosaur we got. Right. Hey, are you all there? Foo foo. Here, I can hear them this way. You're right, I hear them too. It sounds like they're not too far off. Goodness. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry we... Open sesame! Oh, no. You got it all wrong. Yeah, can't you think of any halfway... Of any halfway a decent password? Okay, Miss Grand Duchess. Why don't you show us how it's done? Fine, then I will. Let's see. Are you gonna give them a password? Yes, yes, I will. I will. Right, this has to be it. Uchi hai Hrasravas Hashravas Is that what is that? What what is that? Is that Russian? I'm typing it into Google. Uchai Hashravas. What is that? Um In Hinduism, Uchai What the frick? In Hinduism Uchai Shifravas is a seven-headed flying horse created by the churning of the milk ocean. Apparently, it's the horse of Indra. Why do you know about the horse of Indra? Weird. Now, what did you just say? Uchi Shri Shravas? What was that? Is that some new comedy duo or something? I'm not sure myself, but it does... Doesn't it have a way of really sticking in your mind. Why do you? Why are you saying that? There, this this is gonna become real for something. I know I haven't been able to forget that word since I first learned about it. Ah, you're right. I think it's stuck in my mind now too. It's got some serious supercalifragilisticexpialidocious energy. Holy crap! That's a really good. That is that is a screen cap. Got some serious supercalifragilisticexpialidocious energy. Wow. Oh, Master, you're back. That's great. Glad to see you're safe and sound. But now what do we do? All I can come up with is that we all just shout our true feelings for him. As entertaining as that would be, I'm gonna take a pass. My interpersonal or interservincial relationships are hard enough already. Yeah, I just as soon avoid the mushy stuff if I can. You know. Friends to lovers or enemies to lovers trope and all that. Yeah. Wow, hearing that from a Greek hero really puts it in a whole new light. What's me being Greek have to do with it? I'm just a regular guy. Okay. Maybe not really regular. Wait, how do we get so far off track? We still have to find Master. You. You are how we got so far off track. I certainly wasn't the one who wanted to turn this into some relationship talk. Okay, Blackbeard, you're up. What do you got? Uh, what to try next? Open Sesame didn't work, uh, Uchihai Shravas didn't work, and what we need is a single word that will really grab Tanner's attention. Wait, I've got it! Feet! I, I mean, Koopy. That's what you think of me? Oh, it worked! No way. I'm afraid you're mistaken, Blackbeard Anastasia. We've been here for a while now. 
but I would have yelled feet too, honestly. Huh? Really? Is that what he's into? It's true. I saw his search history. I'm not a part of this conversation. <laughs> I'll say. Well, I'm glad you made it out of there. Master, do you think you'd just forget everything you overheard? You mean about Uchi Trash Travis? No, that word is cursed to never be forgotten no matter how hard you try. What, is this just a gag? Is what, Damn, seriously? Where were you guys anyway? All right, we fell into a hidden cave de uh, beneath. A de we fell into a hidden cave beneath the ground here. I'm still not sure why we were the only ones who did, though. Never mind that. We got much bigger news. Right, we do, don't we? Everyone, I know this may be hard to believe, but dinosaur. Dinosaur. A dinosaur. Uh, what about dinosaurs? Oh, she's holding him. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, look at these little square feet. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, beep, 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 beep. Ta da, check it out. Say what? That's a cute little dino baby. Ah, gotcha. This little guy was all you found in the mysterious cave, huh? So much for the secret pirate treasure. Well, maybe this, um, dinosaur is the treasure? Hang on, are we sure truly a dinosaur? Couldn't it just be an overgrown lizard? No, Teach. Definitely not. Oh! This little cutie is definitely a stegosaurus. An herbivorous uh, dinosaur of the stegosauria family. Oh, damn. Wait, hang on. Didn't dinosaurs die out millions of years ago? What's one doing here? Exactly, it's a huge mystery, right? That's why I want to head back to camp now and examine him and her more closely. So cute. Stop that. He's still just a baby. All right. I just couldn't help myself. I was helpless in the face of his overwhelming cuteness. I think he can get away with petting him a little bit. See, he doesn't mind at all. Who and the Stegosaurus are talking to each other. That's a fun sentence I never would have expected to read. This is so heartwarming. I'll record this for the database. Roll that aside, Da Vinci. Why are you cradling him in your arms like that? Well... I swear to God, if it starts talking. Oh, a Stegosaurus. Huh? A Stegosaurus. That's a kind of dinosaur, right? It sure is. Um, there's something else in its nest. Is that a treasure map? What's it doing there? here? Do you think this is all some sort of elaborate theme park attraction? No, it's not that. This is definitely a real stegosaurus. Hmm. What is it? What's it doing? Uh, it, it's coming towards me. What, what do I do, Mash Tanner? I think maybe. Yeah? It may have imprinted on you. You mean like when a baby bird thinks the first thing it sees is its mother? Oh man, oh man, I know there's a lot to support the theory that dinosaurs were actually the precursor to birds, but still. Oh, it's nuzzling me. Oh jeez, what do I do? What do I do? Obviously flustered. Well, I don't think we should just leave it here. Same. Uh, huh? Then, then does that mean... Mama. I'm its mother? Oh, now I gotcha. So you're a mommy now. So touching. Don't call me mommy. That's another very good one to throw around for out of context. Well, hey, come on. What are the word is there? There, see? The dinosaur agrees with me. Maybe it's just hungry. Now that you mention it. The dinosaur wielder, not you. I knew that. I was totally talking about the dinosaur, too. I was. Sure you were. Well, I'm not surprised you'd be hungry too, Okita Alter. It's true, I am. Besides, it's almost dinner time. I can't wait to see what's on the menu. I see you're very forthcoming to your master, aren't you, Wilder? Then again, I guess you're always you're always very forthcoming. Well, for the time being, why don't we head back to camp and decide what to do about this thing later? 
Besides, Dad should know about this, too. You're right. That's a good point. You weren't the only one who got fatherly vibes from Gordolf. Thank God. Ugh. I'm not too keen on telling Dad I mean the director about this. They're literally all just calling him Dad. That's amazing. <laughs> Dear God, put that thing back where you found it. I knew you'd say something like that. Of course I would. It's a goddamn Stegosaurus. Dinosaurs like that I haven't seen another for more than 150 million years. So what are the words one doing here beeping like a newborn chick? That's really the question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe dinosaurs have actually been alive all this time. I mean, you still hear rumors about Nessie sightings to this day, right? There's also the book, the book, book, Limembe, the Chupacabra. You know, on a different note, I just had a thought. Where did Muk, Muk, Mukele Chupacabra? Where did Mukele Chupacabra be a great band name? <laughs> yeah, what a minute. Okay, okay. You know that we're in stupid summer shenanigans when a character just says something. And it's like, wouldn't that be a great band name? And the character's just like, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be. Don't get a sidetrack to get Blackbeard. I'm anyway, I guess it goes to show that anything goes in a singularity. Besides, there's still a lot of humankind has to learn about the Earth. For example, I've heard there are phantasmals hidden deep uh, in unexplored wildernesses, even the 21st century. To me, it's not impossible there's at least one dinosaur still alive today. Hmm. Well, hang on. I don't think that makes sense. But how so? I mean, think about it. We found this dinosaur in a place that was supposed to have pirate treasure, right? So wouldn't that mean the dinosaur itself is that shred? Oh, hey there. I guess you're right. Although you said you found a second map there, right? That's right. Strangely enough, it was in the nest right next to the dinosaur egg. Here, this is it. Um, certainly looks like a treasure map. There's even a message written on it. Uh, there is where? Well, you can't see it? Uh, 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 right, of course. It's because it's written with magecraft. Here, I'll try and put these glasses on. Oh, yeah, wow, there it is. I still don't know what the message could mean, though. Well, let's just forget about this map for the time being. Right now, we need to decide what to do about the dinosaur. Ah. Uh, uh, yes, Grand Duchess. Well, you know that I'm originally a caster, right? But indeed. Very strange how merely putting on a swimsuit alters a servant's class like that, but only for the females. Don't go to the director. That way lies madness. All right. Well, I just bored these mystic guys to so take a closer look at the dinosaur. Uh, go on. It has a magical energy signal. Hmm. I should have guessed. Such a demonic beast, then? No. It's a holy grail. Oh! Oh! I see. A holy grail. Wait, a holy grail? What, what, what? Really? Let me see that thing real quick. Okay, but be gentle. Yeah, she's right. It does have a magical energy signal. In fact, it feels like it's nothing but magical energy. Too bad we don't have a teacher or caster with us. I can probably tell us more about it. I'm sorry, I'm a caster now, but I'm afraid I still don't, have, I still don't know much about magical energy. Oh, right, because she's a magician. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, gotcha. You uh, might want to brush up. You're telling me this dinosaur is actually a holy grail. Then does that mean we may be able to use it to repair the singularity? I don't think it's going to be that simple. It's a little weak as far as holy grails go, so there isn't much power for there for us to use. Right now, it may as well just be an ordinary dinosaur. Hey, don't bite my hair. Well, it is an herbivore. What, what you say my hair looks like a damn salad? Uh, yep. It does. I am, no comment. I think your hair looks lovely and nutritious. It's important to eat three balanced meals a day. Ouch, well, I did ask for it. All right, here, little guy. Why don't you play with Tarask for a while? Don't you make you pip squeak? Just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes around here. That's what I like to hear. All right, here's your first lesson. What I need you, don't type out to the same woman's long hair and a kill of punches. Good answer. Assuming you didn't understand me at all, anyway. So what should we... We're not going to talk about why you have Tarask? Okay. What should we do about the dinosaur, then? Hmm. All right. I guess we don't have any other option. 
If it has the power of a holy grail, we'll just have to hold on to it for safekeeping. Yay! But I expect you to be completely responsible for it. Understood? I will. It's okay, Father. Well, I'll help out too. I'm in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally me IRL. And what's the big deal? You'd make a great dad. Just stop. Okay, now what to call him? I know, Steggy. I think he likes it. Then again, maybe that's a little too simple. How about you guys? Got any good ideas for names? No, 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 no naming it. Oh, come on. But then what are we going to call him? What's wrong with your dinosaur, Stegosaurus? Come on, Dorothy, it's not every day you get a chance to name a freaking dinosaur. I said no. We're gonna have a name right after we flashback. Okay, how about this? Since he seems to like the name, why don't we call him Steggy the Stegosaurus? That should be fine, since it's basically the same as just plain Stegosaurus, right? Fine, fine. I can live with that, I suppose. Oh, it's almost burnt the meat. Uh, someone set the table while I finish up here. Roger Dodger. Yes, sir. Senpai and I'll set the table right away. Oh, itadaki mas. This is really good. Man, everything tastes better grilled. Meat, fish, veggies, you name it. I thought these were bananas, but they're not sweet at all. They taste more like yams than anything. And they're absolutely delicious when paired with this meat. My compliments to the chef. Three stars. But why, thank you, I think. Is that on a five-star scale? Everything's so good, I can't stand it. Now, this is what I call Buenissimo. You know, I just thought back when I was alive, too. Not even pirates can survive on rum alone. There should be a cook or two on every ship worth its sails. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I did employ a French cook at one point. Can't remember his name, though. Sonji? Wait, Black Beards Chef. Okay, well, that gives me a bunch of people called Chef Blackbeard. And it gives me one piece. So the answer to that is nothing. That's not real. This is great. It tastes way tastier than the jerky I used to live on back when I was adventuring. I really go for some rice, though. Mm, I know what you mean, Master. I feel the same way. I even prefer to have rice with Odin. I couldn't get a hold of rice for this explanation. We'll just have to go without it. Sorry. You know, there are many countries in the world where they don't eat rice with every meal. I may be from one of them, and you just have to accept that I was the one in charge of the food, so sorry. How about you? Aren't you going to have anything? No, thanks. All I need is my wielder's magical energy. No, no, don't be like that. It doesn't feel right to have only one person sitting at a table with an empty plate. As long as you don't dislike what we're serving, you should make an effort to eat and consider it a team building activity. Um. Come on, Rengoku, eat with us. Eating meals together is so much fun. It is. All right. I'll have some food then, too. Great. Here, load up your plate for you. Stop that. And get my own food. What is a wilder? Why are you looking around like that? I just remembered something. Master, is the servant with the really cool swimsuit here, too? What really cool swimsuit? Yeah, what really cool swimsuit? You know, the one we saw before. She was dressed all in black and she controlled these, like, marvelous, mysterious, magical world words. I wonder who it could be. She was so cool that I just had to talk to her. She told me, You want to know my name? Very well. You may call me... Schwarzwald Jean. Yeah, you can call me that. It's fine. I'll allow it. Oh, she's... Yeah, now I see. Yeah, she's busy with her manga at the moment. So she didn't come along then? That's too bad. Are you aware that Schwarzwald is the name of a place? Is it? Where the frig is it? Schwarzwald. Schwarzwald is a, the Black Forest of Germany. Okay. It's so cool, isn't it? Oh, Chunis stick together. You're very impressionable, aren't you, Wilder? I see. I guess that old insane girl's just at that age right now. <laughs> yeah, Chuni. What age is that? I can relate. Here you go, Steggy. Veggies and fruit. Enjoy! <coughs> hey, Tanner? 
Do you think I should teach Steggy proper table manners? Brud, Brud doesn't have thumbs. I'm not sure that'd work. Wait. Whoa. He really stopped. Maybe he's smarter than we, we thought. But that dinosaur is supposed to sound like fairly unintelligent to their tiny brains, but... I don't know. These days, most scientists don't believe there's much correlation between brain size and intelligence. Oh. Huh. Okay, Steggy, you can keep eating now. <laughs> oh, he's got quite the appetite, doesn't he? Guess it made sense since he's a newborn. Woof hoo! Wait right now, leave that bacon alone for a ball. Not a competition. She took a page from his, her. Uh, Stegosaurus is broke and need more vegetables. Not so much as that's my bacon you're showering down on. Foo! You just outright ignored me. What's going on with the furball career light? I know it's great. I'm so glad to see Foo's taking such a liking to you, Director. I guess you could see it that way if we squint hard enough. <laughs> Looks like you've got some competition for the mascot position, Foo. Foo! <laughs> Are you all done? That's a good boy. Uh, that was a good meal. Alright, I think it's only fair uh, fair that the, today's field team takes care of the cleanup. Oh, that's so considerate of you. I wonder if all Greek guys are like this. Oh, it's okay. We'll take care of it. Oh, no, you won't. You gotta sit back and just let me take care of it. It is only fair. Alright, if you insist. But da Vinci, would you uh, keep taking care of Steggy? Sure thing. Okay, now that your tummy's nice and full, I guess you'll need a bed and a place to go to the bathroom, huh? Steggy, come. That's it, right this way. I'm still getting my head around all this, Senpai. I've never seen Da Vinci so um, excited before. I mean, she was always bright and cheerful, of course, but... I thought someone was taking a piss. I think it's a good thing. Right, I do too. All right, little magecraft to compress the food waste, and uh, there, all done. All right, everyone, don't forget to freshen up and brush your teeth before you go to bed. Servants don't need to sleep, but I guess it does help us feel more rested. Switch 10 is for the men. Blah, that one. Though I won't be joining you there myself, I have my own private tent. Oh, no fair. Man, I'm jealous. It's completely fair. So due to this expedition, I'm entitled to my own tent. All right, all right. I just expect you to stroll right into the ladies' tent. <laughs> Achilles, let's say I did go into the ladies' tent, okay? They don't see me there, right? That's true. And what turn do you think I'd die on? The first, no guests could bring you back from what they do to you, right? So when bedtime rolls around, this pirate's sticking strictly to the corner of the men's tent. All right, but I don't know how well you'll fit. You're kind of a tall guy. He is super tall. Guess I'm going in here, then. I wonder if there's different scenes for guys and girls. I wonder. Nice to have you here. Hey, Master. Welcome to the squalid world of manly men. It's too bad a cellphone day on with the Prince of Lan Lang aren't here. I'm sure they could have added a few more floral touches. I don't mind. At least this way we can just relax and take it easy. But these are our beds, huh? Don't mind us, Master. You can just wear earplugs and call the night whenever you want. Well, hey, since we're here, I thought it'd be fun to chat for a while. I guess we can do that, at least on the first day. So what do you want to talk about? Man, I have no idea what to talk about. How about romance? Look at those big cheery anime eyes. I'm good for that. Or it might th make things awkward for the other servants. It would, definitely would. It'd be hell in the truest sense of the word at best. No one wants us to know as long as it doesn't leave this room or the tent. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd totally spill the beans if anyone grilled me. Me too. Oh, same. So much for that idea. Alright, here's an idea for a topic that shouldn't get us in any trouble. Most hated weapon ever. For me, it's the sling. I still remember this one bastard who used a sling to throw everything with the kitchen aqueduct at me. That's funny. That's funny. Got a comedian here. I can deal with spears and swords and stones. Those are all fair game. I almost blew my top when he started throwing demonic beast heads and entrails. Oh, yikes. I guess I'd say demonic swords. Actually, I think I hate all demonic weapons. Spears, bows, axes, anything. 
It's always a huge slog to figure out their deal, and you have to spend the whole time thinking out every detail. Man, I'm glad I didn't run into gay bulk or anything like that when I was alive. If I had, I'd probably just have forgotten. Uh, just another nameless hero. Been forgotten, rather. How about you, Blackbeard? Oh, gunpowder! Didn't you used to weave fuses into your beard? Hey, I'm not like you guys, remember? If I get blown up with gunpowder, there's no coming back for me. I'd hate it. I'd rather face a good old blunt cutlass any day of the week. I guess you've got a point. Gunpowder seems pretty dangerous, too. Ah, don't be silly. You'd be fine. Just use your guts to power through the blast. What, do you think guts works on the power of positive thinking? It doesn't. That's a good point. There's got to be a girl exclusive scene. I'm real curious about it. Oh, hey, Tanner. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. Me too, huh? <laughs> Me, I was just too excited. Not to mention Steggy here kept bleeding. Aw, oh, he's so cute. I know, right? <laughs> Everything about him is just adorable. Never would have guessed he was actually a holy grail. How much do you know about dinosaurs, Tanner? Look, you're talking to a male. I don't know if you know this, but, like, dinosaurs are... Y y dudes love dinosaurs. I'm pretty familiar. I see, I see. I'm not surprised. There's just something inherently fascinating about them, isn't there? I wonder, does the fact your life now mean you have living parents somewhere, too? Or are you the only one of your kind in all the world? <laughs> I wish I knew what you were saying. I can tell you're a major cutie pie, but that's it. Maybe we could use animal communication? I don't know. Even if we could use Magecraft to communicate with him, I don't think we'd really be able to understand him. I mean, he's still a newborn. I'm not sure he can think about anything besides his immediate needs. Oh, but I understood that. <laughs> You're getting sleepy, aren't you? Maybe you should, we should all try going back to bed then. Yeah, besides, we got a busy day of searching for the second treasure ahead of us tomorrow. Good night, Tanner. Sweet dreams. Cute. So yeah, let's switch on over to... Well, first off, I think we have access to the store now, right? Please be time-gated, please. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. I need to finish this recording, please. What's this shop here? Clear the quests, equip them for item drops, collect, exchange... And uh, progress the story to officially add. Yeah, sounds good. So, pirate treasures contain special items. Uh, they can only be opened by selecting them, gain more of them, acquire them, gain a bunch of stuff. Sure, let's check them. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's just like... So there's... Okay, there's treasure points. There's a bunch of low-rank items. Oh, cool. Treasure points aren't bad to get either, then. Nice. Cool. Cool. So what do we got? Egg, coins... Okay, so ocean flyers from this, so I have to complete this. How many are here? Two... Three... Yes, I heard the voice. I don't care. I don't care. I'm sticking to my voice. It's funny. Okay, so then we have... Four... Is there five? Can we MLB it? Or do we have to get lucky? Do we have all five? Oh, we have to get lucky. I see. Exchange them for secret maps. A hidden quest will unlock. Okay. Get some outfits. Secret map. Treasure from the ruins. We want those for sure. I'll just grab this. It's because it's cheap. What is this? Treasure in the ruins. This is a... Uh, just a quick battle? Might be. Let's see here. We should be able to do this. Toot sweet. 
This dude, whoever this is, has uh, MLB'd on that. Jeez, you must have rolled for days. Can't be me. Okay, so we got you. You know what, and we'll put... Hmm. Might do that. Right, because you're just generally good. Is there, is there someone else who could just do good stuff throughout? Let's see. Uh, Merlin could buff them. Ah, whatever. They'll just go with this. Sure. And are you? You're not red, are you? I don't think you are. You are. You're green. You're green with it. Uh, we'll just go. Nothing there. Sure. Just, just, just get going. Okay. Because we should be able to rock this battle, no problem. Okay. So, okay, so these don't have story, it seems, and are just for this. Which is good, because that means I can then do them off screen and not worry about them. Thank goodness. Sounds good to me. Well, we'll see. Always worried that some might... Back in time? What does that mean? Does that mean they, they got... They can recover fully? Let's see how much this bro heals. It's just a thousand? That's nothing. Don't gonna worry about that. Just get meter here. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're just gonna rip on through, I guess. Okay, let's just go one, two, three. Okay. And let's just go one, two, three. You'll max out yours. Okay. And... Yours hits everyone, right? Yes, to all enemies. So I'll just go with this. With this. Let's just go one, two, three. Okay. I assume this will do work. Okay. Is that mission done? And is it just... Do we get something for doing that? Is it just a... A bunch of chests? Sure, I'll take that. And it's gone. Okay, so it is it is a one and done. Oh. Interesting. 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 You know what? I'm gonna hold on to these chests and I'll just do a bunch at once later on. For now though. For now. Uh, what I do wanna do. I'm gonna do a quick. Uh, how do I change? How do I change my gender again? How do I do that? I forget. Wait, is it master profile? Gender. I'm now female! And I'm gonna go to material story, uh, event quests, Kaldia, part two. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna, we just gotta skip on through till we get to the Get to hang out with the girls. Guys, we can talk about our makeup. We can talk about our... Can you skip this cutscene? Yes. So I think... Let's just fast forward. Those were sharks. Okay, so let's just... Zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh! Wait. Wait, that was a different scene. What the frick? 
that that didn't happen last time. What? That didn't happen last time. What? Why were they? Wait, what? Okay, so skip. What the frick? They weren't there. Foo. Those were sharks, right? Yes, bipedal sharks. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I could have sworn. I oh, because we chose this one. We didn't choose one. I could have sworn I sent Jean nearby having the time of her life. Woo! Oh, that's just it. Okay. I thought we'd like, like, there is like a, like, just a lot that we missed or something. Let's see if we have anything here. Foo -foo. I'm fast, fast, I'm fast foo wording. Come on. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, come on. I think it's going to crack. Come on, and then... Oh, wait. So we can skip this. Okay. All right. So we get that. Okay, and now we're going to... Huh? I just like making noises whenever it appears. It's just fun to do. How often do you get to make stupid noises? Not much. Uh, let's go find the others. Okay, I wish there was less uh, dialogue choices. I'll say. Just for the fast forwarding, at least. Bigger news. Dinosaur. I mean, it's no, it's I mean, it's nice that the, uh, you know, the character speaks, but it sure makes fast forwarding not as fun or as easy, rather. Okay, it's imprinted. Same. And you're hungry. It would. Okay, and then we're gonna. Uh, uh, there is where. Uh, there it is. Come on. Almost there. What do we do about the dinosaur? Oh, there's there's so much for the reading. You don't realize how much you read until after you go back and realize it. Because, I mean, like, when you guys are watching, it's different. But when, like, I'm playing, I just brain turn off and to speak, you know. So it's like looking at this like, dang, there is a lot of story. It's one of the servants busy working on our manga. Okay. Oh, I like its noises a lot. I think it's a good thing. Guess I'm going in there. Here we go. Talk with the girls. Knock, knock. Come on in, master. Yes, please do. Would you like some cocoa? That sounds great, thanks. I'm gonna do my girl voice. There you go. That's it. There's a good dinosaur. Oh, foo-foo. You seem exhausted too, foo. Here, get in the sleeping bag. Not go, not go. That's beer. Is is that is that how she snores? So is that how she snores? She was chatting up a storm not too long ago, but then she just passed out. Maybe she ran out of battery. What is she? Twelve? Look, <laughs> he's sleepy too. He's already closed his eyes. Aren't aren't his eyes always closed? True. You actually don't want to know what happens when he opens them. That's a little Romanov humor. Laugh. You're supposed to laugh. I'll be honest, Grand Duchess, no Anastasia, it wasn't very funny. Oof. That really hurts coming from you. I mean, you're always so serious about everything. Being straightforward and honest is kind of my thing. Not that it did me much good when I was alive. And that was Corday humor. Char, I'm gonna be honest with you two. Neither of us are very good at telling jokes. Ah. I guess we both put the brutal in brutal honesty. Exactly. I gotta say, not the best conversation in the day on. 
Uh, say, Senpai, since we have to some time before bed, would you want to play cards or something? Oh, that sounds like fun. Can you deal us in too, then? You'd like to play too, right, Anastasia? Sure. In fact, I've even got an idea to make it more interesting or more exciting. Let's say the loser has to confess an embarrassing secret. A yikes, way to raise the stakes. <laughs> V, I give you permission to use your X-ray mystic eyes. How is that not cheating? Come on, pick a card already. I know, I know. Um, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for taking the old maid off my hands. Anime girls always be playing old maid. Curse you, Baba Yaga. Okay, Master, your turn. Uh, that's right. You're right this way. D Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Ha. <laughs> How did you know? You're being way too obvious. We can all tell when you're trying to trick us. But how? I have the most perfect of poker faces. Maybe, but because of that, just the slightest change in expression makes it easy to tell when you're feeling pleased. I'm afraid you've lost yet again, Anastasia. Oh, very well. Then here's my fourth embarrassing secret of the evening. There exist pictures of me online wearing false teeth and making funny faces. Wow, that is... Kind of embarrassing. It's okay. You can laugh if you want. Oh, that reminds me, Char. Yes? You seem like you're more of a stage magician than a caster. You're right, I am. I'm not actually sure how that happened, though. Do you know... Is it because she she hid the knife between her gigantic bobbers in real life? Do you know any card tricks, then? <laughs> okay, now that we're done playing, let me gather up the cards. Next, I stack them nice and neat, shuffle the deck, and presto change Oh, now the cards are flying every which way. That's the clumsiest shuffling I've ever seen. Mm, this is so embarrassing. Even though I know magic tricks now, I'm still as clumsy as ever. At least I can do them consistently in battle, though. Maybe the pressure helps? Hold on. And does that mean those magic tricks you do in combat are... Yes, even I don't understand how I'm able to perform them. It's very strange, isn't it? That doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. No, it doesn't. Well, hey, at least she's proven she doesn't have any trouble fighting. Thank you, Master. It's 11, so we should probably get to bed. Agreed. Good evening, everyone. I, did I, did she, you know, she said good night. Why did I say good evening? Good night. Night. Good night, Senpai. Night, Mash. That's my girl voice. I mean, you play as many games as I do where you have to play as girls and you'll soon realize that you have to learn how to do that. Anyways, we're done. Please. I must return. I don't feel comfortable in this body. Oh, that's right. Ah, my balls are back. Let's go. No torsion magic will get in my way. All right. Uh, next time, we'll be back for some more. I'm going to grind up some of these because I think we have... Yeah, we, we oh, we need a bunch of stuff anyways, and it's going to take time. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do some of these missions, get some stuff. Yeah, all that good stuff. I think the best one is this one. So I'll do that on my own there. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order as we go on our summer adventure. Ciao.